Hey, what is up guys? Ross Wee here, and today I will be showing you how to play Star Wars Battlefront 2 online with all your friends in 2016. Now the Game Spy servers have been shut down for a while now, since 2014 I believe. So, you're just going to want to go down in the description, click on the link, download Game Ranger, uh, double click on the EXE, it'll bring you up to this window, and then you're just going to want to click next agree to the terms of service. Now if you don't already have an account, you can go ahead and create one, put in an invite code real quick, type in your email and then um, come up with a password and then just click next. But I already have an account so I'm going to go ahead and use my existing account and just type in that real quick like here. And all right, let's see, did I get that right? Yes. All right, so then we're going to click next. It'll bring us up with a list of cities in our time zone. This is super important that you click the city closest to you so you have the lowest ping and you don't lag in game. However, certain cities are likely going to have more servers than others. So if there's another city that is also kind of close to you, you can select that and see how many servers are on that one. And, you know, you can just kind of try things out uh, to decide... Uh, what's best for you. I'm closest to New York so I'm going to go ahead and click on that one and then just click finish. It's going to log me in and now it's going to bring me up with all these different games that Game Ranger uh, has servers for that you can connect to. Uh, so we don't necessarily want to see all these games at once so an easy way is to just click my games and It'll also bring up quite a few other games that you have that have Game Ranger servers, so that's not necessarily ideal if you're just looking for Battlefront. So, we're going to go ahead and click New Group, uh, name it Star Wars, or whatever you want to name it, and then we'll just go ahead and search for Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, right there, it's nice and bold so we can see it, and then just click OK. Now, it's only going to show us Star Wars Battlefront 2 servers. As you can see, just when I clicked on New York, there is quite a few servers available. A lot of them aren't too full, uh, that's pretty common, but um, there is quite a few people playing right now considering the game was just on sale on Steam for like three bucks, I just picked it up. So now what you're going to want to do is, you know, read through the servers. Heroes and Villains is pretty cool if you just want to play, you know, Jedi and Sith characters and stuff like that. Um, but I don't necessarily want to play that, so I'm going to go to this swag one. And then you just click join. And it's going to bring you into this little room, load up an ad real quick. And I muted the ad so you don't have to listen to that shit. And then you're just going to want to click join. And then when you click join, it'll automatically launch Star Wars Battlefront 2 for you. Um, and then it'll automatically join you right in into the game. And... Um, Hopefully it works. Make sure it's actually, uh... yep, okay, so that's working. And it's actually recording that I'm logging into Yavin 4 with some other peeps, hopefully. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, then you just select a team. Uh, you're gonna have to click auto assign because they don't want you uh, filling up one team more than the other. So I'll just pick a uh, clone trooper. And yeah, right now I'm in the battle, so um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I can show you the player list to show you that there are, you know, quite a few people playing in this map. Uh, it's pretty fun, um, and yeah, so that's basically the gist of it, and it's that easy to just, you know, load up Game Ranger and get online and suck at Battlefront 2. Really easy. Um, I did kind of want to go over one last wait no I don't want to respawn I want to quit uh, I want to quit this battle I want to go over one last thing because in the past uh, it hasn't necessarily sucked me right into the game so um, sometimes it comes up with a menu like this uh, so you can just go to multiplayer and then hit join because you don't want anything to do with games by and then you know under it if you click LAN yeah that's not gonna work. Huh? Did it work? No. Okay. So yeah, that didn't work. You just wanna click internet and then you click this and then you can click join through there. And that's if you already um, 
have Battlefront open or it doesn't necessarily suck you right in. You just go into the multiplayer tab, click on the internet button, and then click join again. And, you know, it's that simple to get online in Battlefront 2 and... Uh, okay, we just got defeated. But um, a few more things I want to point out is the fact that uh, if you have mods and stuff like that, it's not going to affect um, online at all. You're not going to be able to use the mods online uh, unless the person who set up the server also has the mods on the server. Um, but, you know, you'll be perfectly fine with a completely modded game because I, I do have texture mods which work. But, you know, any mods that add new characters to the game or new maps and stuff, they won't necessarily work. But they won't make it so you can't play online. Um, I also updated to patch... Uh, 1.3 you can use 1.3 or 1.1 um, depending on if you just download it from steam you're gonna have 1.1 I went ahead and downloaded 1.3 um, for you know some changes to the game but you know either one will work so you don't have to worry about any of that it should work fine for you anyway I hope this uh, tutorial helped you guys and hope you have a lot of fun in Battlefront 2 like I know I will be and thank you so much for watching and have a good day.